Hello, my art friends. I have with me today the first box of 2024, the January sketch box. And before I open this box, I just wanted to reach out and say thank you to all the new subscribers I've had in 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you to all of those of you that have followed me through the years and are still here and still watch my channel religiously. In January, I'm not going to make probably any videos. Uh, we're taking January off. I'm packing up and we are moving from Kansas City to Florida. So if you don't see any activity from me, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm going to be packing lots of boxes. And if anybody is interested below to see the unpacking process and setting up my new art room and my new house, let me know down below if that's something you'd like to see. I like to see those videos from other people. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I will film that for you. All right, let's get the sketch box for January open and see all of our good items. Anyway, the art on the box here is done by Ember Kudo. Art done with the materials in this box. Beautiful by Alex Elford, and it tells about him here and where you can follow him. I will be reading along with our card today. Now, I did see the Sketchbox School. I get a pass to see the items ahead of time, and if you are a member, you will also, you can see your materials early. This month, we have the Premium Terracotta Charcoal Box. Very fun. I very much like a lot of these materials. I love charcoal. I also love pastels. This is going to be a good box. All right, on our list first, we have the Royal Talons Willow Charcoal. Retail price is $4.95. Comes in a nice box. And Willow Charcoal, I love. I start out most of my pastel works with Willow Charcoal. It's what I sketch them out with. There's just something about using a nice piece of Willow Charcoal. And if you haven't seen it before, this is what they look like. They look like burnt sticks. Okay, next on our list is the Derwent Drawing Pencils. Retail price is $10.47. These light fast pencils have a unique creamy texture that create a soft velvety finish. These are my favorite, I guess, colored pencils. I have a whole set of them. They are my favorite. I also like the Derwent Chroma Flow, but these are just the best things. If you don't own these, go get a couple. I mean, they are really great. Um, we have light sienna, ivory black, and Chinese white. Um, the whole set is great. These are just so good, I can't even describe how good they are. Um, yeah, they're, they're in between all of my pencils. They're all the things. They work so beautiful. And the whole the set is a very earth-friendly color palette. Nothing bright in it whatsoever. But I just love them. I will probably use the ones in my set that are already sharpened so I can leave these maybe to gift these to somebody or just uh, hold them back and replace ones as I use them in my set. Next on our list is the Carbothello Pastel Pencil. I also own the 72-piece set of these. Opaque and water-soluble. These blend with ease. Um, yes, I have two pastel pencil sets. The Carbothello set, and then I also have the Derwent set. They both, I, I like them both equally. They're very nice. Um, and then the colors we get with these... Well, it doesn't say on the pencils. It says English Deep Red. And then, oh, I'm going to have to bring this closer to read this. Could put Mortem Red. Just, okay. Anyway, this is $6.55, $6.45. Rembrandt Soft Pastels. These are the half sticks, a five-piece set. A nice monochromatic feel here. Rich Oranges is this set. Uh, the retail price of this is $10.75. I have a few Rembrandt pastels. I like my my studio box. I have a lot of Sennelier and Blue Earth now. 
I like a softer pastel. These are a little harder. Not as hard as a new pastel. But uh, let me go ahead and open this. Sometimes I actually will take a sandpaper or a rough surface and kind of scuff up the outside and it seems to work a little better for me. These are obviously machine rolled and they're a little hard. So if you want to get a little more color payoff and you think these are just too hard, go ahead, take off the outer, la outer layer. They might work better for you. But I have bought a few of these monochromatic selections on my own and I really love them. Uh, they're cute. Most of them I have kept in these little uh, foam sets just because they're kind of pretty. And look at this guy. Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Big Brush in white. Waterproof when dry. It's high quality India ink pen. Offer striking highlights when applied to toned paper. Retail price is $7. All right. I I'm sure I've probably tried the Faber-Castell white pit pens. I'm, I'm sure I have something like it over here. Um, but yeah, it's always good to have another white ink marker. And then the one last thing we have not spoke about is the Rembrandt toned paper, sanguine red, four by six. We get 12 sheets. Retail price is $10.95. And this looks to be like a drawing pastel acrylic squash ink and charcoal beautiful orange. This is a very nice collection of materials to start off our 2024. I love, I, this is a very good box to sample some items. Orange is fun. Um, it's a different color to work in for me. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch these out so you can see them and then we'll get to do a project. So I thought I would show you guys the um, set of the drawing pencils. I just, yeah, Derwent, if you guys come out with more of these, consider those to be purchased. Um, here's the full set. As you can see, it's a very muted color palette, but it's beautiful for landscapes. Um, let's see, what do we got here? We have white. Looks like I don't usually use the white a whole lot. Light sienna. Light sienna. I think this was just the black, wasn't it? Ivory black. Ivory black. Okay. And I will save these in this nice little pouch for when I go through these. There will be a day I'll probably go through these. I like to give a lot of duplicate art supplies away, but these, nope, these are going to stay with me. I also went through my collection and the 655, I don't know what color is which here, by the way, but anyway, the 655 I already had and had one sharpened, so I went ahead and pulled that one out, and this one is new. These are very close. I'm kind of interested to swatch these guys out. Very close in color. And then I'm going to pull out my, this is my second sketch box sketchbook and this is basically just a journal of each month's box and my little doodles um yeah i have all my monthly art things in here if i could put them in here's another pastel and charcoal anyway so i'm going to use this to put my materials in my new Blackwing limited edition collection pencil it's the garden set it was this olive green I thought it was beautiful if you've never tried a Blackwing pencil I highly suggest you do so
Here are materials. I wish these two would have been a little different or we had a different tone value, maybe more of a brown, a darker brown, but these are really close. Um, that's my only complaint with this box. Other than that, this is a very nice curated box. I'm excited to do something. Um, yeah, everything is as expected. I already own most of these materials, so I know what I'm getting into, and this is going to be a fun month. Okay, here's my little setup here. We've got a New Year's champagne flute um, with, uh, well, it's ginger ale. It's, I didn't have any champagne laying around the house. Uh, but yeah, it's ginger ale for today, and that's what I'm going to draw. Well, there's my finished champagne glass. I 
hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. Do all the things. And I will see you in February, friends. Bye.